okay so uh, we have uh, we need the degree of polarization of the reflected rays um, and so uh, first we have NTI um, NTI is just uh, NT over NI uh, and that is 40 uh, the beam of natural no that's uh, uh, 1.5 and uh, the beam of light is incident um, at 40 degrees so that means theta i is equal to 40 degrees and we know from Snell's law that uh, nt sine theta t equals ni sine theta i so we could solve for theta t to be uh, n i over n t the inverse sign of all that times sine 40 uh, or sine theta i, let's put it inverse. So this is inverse sine and i over nt will be 1 over 1.5 sine 40. So let's see what we get for that. So theta t will equal plugging this on the calculator, we will get 40 sine. Twenty-five point four degrees. Twenty-five point four degrees. Okay, so now from Fresnel's equations, um, I could find our parallel, which is the reflectance when the uh, uh, component uh, uh, when the uh, uh, Oh, sorry one second this door is distracting me here yeah okay so um, yeah we now we can find the reflectance uh, parallel that's when the E field is parallel to the plane of incidence and uh, we can get that for uh, this from Fresnel's equations. So if you look at uh, equation, I believe, uh, I think it's, uh, let me let me check out which one here. Well, anyways, I'll write it down. So it's tan squared, theta i. We derived this in chapter four um, from Fresnel's equations over uh, tan squared uh, theta i plus theta t um, and uh, and oh, by the way the reason I do that is because I know that r the reflectance is the average of the two components so if I can get to the reflectance uh, I could get to the degree of polarization which is v it's how much of the uh, of the uh, reflected how much of the um, um, uh, how much of the um, light is polarized what's the portion of the light that is polarized that's that's I'll, I'll get to that in a second so let me plug in these numbers here so tan squared theta I uh, 40 minus 25.4 over 10 squared 40 plus 25.4 and so here we get I'm plugging this on the calculator
pressure in degrees here. So we get here 0 0.0142. And uh, now I will find R perpendicular. And that's when the E field is uh, perpendicular to the plane of incidence. Where linear light has the E field perpendicular to the plane of incidence. So that is uh, R perpendicular, again from Fresnel's equations, uh, that's sine squared theta i minus theta t over sine squared theta i plus theta t, which will be sine squared. 40 minus 25.4 divided by sine squared 40 plus 25.4. You can just do it and then square the whole thing if it's easier. Uh, 40. Uh, yeah, I'm plugging them into the equation then. The equations I told you about. Uh, these are the reflection coefficients equations that are coming from chapter 4 but they are written in chapter uh, 8 in their final form uh, in my edition they're 826 827 so here we get 0 0.0769 And this here is R parallel. Okay, so now we know that the uh, R is just the average between uh, the parallel and the perpendicular. Uh, so then the reflectance would be one half R perpendicular plus R parallel. So I could just average these two. Plus zero point and if I do that I get my reflectance to be So this turned out to be as uh, over two. Let's plug this in. Calculator giving me a little bit of hard time. Plus uh, this turned out to be zero point zero four five five four. One second, let me answer this phone. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we want to get to the degree of polarization and we know that the degree of polarization is denoted by V. So degree of polarization 
is denoted by v and uh, v is equal this is one of the equations ip over ip plus im uh, where ip and im these are the uh, constituent flux density of polarized and unpolarized um, light so for example ip is that for polarized constituent flux density of polarized and in is the constituent flux density of non-polarized so uh, we know uh, that the polarized has to equal both r parallel right r perpendicular plus r parallel because you know it's a combination of uh, both components whereas the non-polarized light uh, that is just uh, the average which is r and so if i plug these back into the equations uh, i will get um, uh, v v to be so ip will be r perpendicular plus r parallel divided by uh, r uh, uh, this is r perpendicular plus r parallel plus r and uh, so now we have everything just plugging in the numbers we've got 0 0.0769 plus our parallel was 0 0.0142 all over the same thing And added on top of that is uh, the R, which came up to be 0 0.04554. So plugging all this on the calculator, we will get zero point six six seven uh, so that means sixty six point seven percent is the degree of polarization if you want to change it to a percent does it.